hi to Chaco. Definitely this choice here of Lucifer. And we have uh, Archmage here. No, even Mount King on this map, guys. Yumiko just plays Mount King every time because that's how he wins against Lucifer. He won every time with the Mount King. He lost every time with the Archmage. So far, it's 100%. 100% win rate with the Mount King, 0% win rate with the Archmage. Actually, is that the, uh, we missed one game, right? We missed one game that we saw them play, the Lucifer won. But that's probably because he went Archmage. Yumiko probably went Archmage and that's why he lost. Some food man. I'm a food man. It's death knight. Death knight and a mount king. So, uh, something is weird strategy on this map, which uh, Lucifer just countered perfectly. But Yumiko, what is he doing? Like this map, it's it's so hard to creep this with the mount king. These creeps are super duper strong for a normal uh, expansion uh, creep camp. We have two mud golems. They cast slow. We have two four soul trappers that cast ensnare, and we have this uh, rock golem which casts hurl boulder, which is kind of like a storm bolt but a bit weaker. All these guys are magic immune as well, but that usually doesn't matter early game because you don't have any magic damage anyway. Hey bro, hey long days off. Welcome back to my stream. For Fugna and the Mount King. Uh, does he have enough footman now to surround? Yes. A player's forces are under attack. Yes. I mean, in theory, just three footmen is enough for Stormbolt surround. But A, we have skeletons here defending the Death Knight to counter surround. And B, even if there were no skeletons, it's super difficult with just four units to Stormbolt surround. Especially if you uh, Stormbolt from very far away, you only have one chance. But now, the De what is the Death Knight doing? What the? Oh, what? Ghoul's coming in. Okay, he does counter surround. But I'm not sure why the Death Knight was so close to the Mount King. The farther away you are from the Mount King, like the less time you, uh, the human player has to surround your, your Death Knight and do damage to your Death Knight. Even if it doesn't surround, if you just right click, right? If your Death Knight is uh, here and the Mount King is here and he storm bolts you, Footman has to have to walk first all the way and then they can attack. And then your Death Knight can uh, walk away or they have to walk all the way and then they have like a millisecond to surround your Death Knight. Well, if your Mountain King is just right next to the Death Knight, Stormbolt on the Death Knight, the Footman have so much time, they have like a full five seconds to try to surround the Death Knight and that's so much easier. I mean, it makes a lot of common sense, uh, but you know, I guess uh, people aren't always thinking about it when they're playing. One of mana stealing there. Oh, it's fake death knight, but the storm bolts it anyway. One of mana stealing. Eh. Maybe it's good. Maybe uh, early game. Of course, early game. The heroes usually don't have infinite mana. Once he gets the shop up, though, he will get clarities. The death knight is soon gonna get uh, statues. And at that point, the uh, one of mana stealing is just. Kind of not that that uh, good compared to the other items, of course. The other items are so much better. Go Lucifer. Nice. We have some Lucifer fans here in chat. But I already knew that. We have a lot of them, actually. I think, like, almost every work of three player... I mean, every work of three viewer on Twitch is a Lucifer fan. With maybe the exception of, like, two or three uh, people. These kobolds saying a lot of damage. Death Knight is almost level three. He's gonna kill these Murlocs. Kills one. Kills two. Tome of Intelligence and Lucifer. Uh, I mean, the Death Knight is now level three. That is a big level. Mount King is almost level three as well. But he does get Sentry Wards, guys. Sentry Wards is so good. So good. Especially on this map. It's a pretty small map. Two Sentry Wards, you can see so much. Shop is almost up. Can he just defend with clarities? Oh no, he's not level three yet. If he was level three, 
Maybe just clarities and just keep storm holding the death knight would defend the expansion. Level 2 storm does so much damage. And if you just throw storm bolt, height and clarity up, throw another storm bolt, you can do so much damage against it. Oh, but now it's level 3 and he gets a mantle of intelligence. But meanwhile, he did lose nothing really. Well, one peon, maybe one peasant. He's also upgrading his keep over here, just like he did last game uh, that he played against Lucifer earlier in the tournament. Uh, so he can call militia here at his expansion. But it does mean if he loses his expansion, he loses his tech. This is not a matchup where you necessarily lose when you lose your expansion, by the way. So it is a bit... Uh, it also gives more HP, of course, to your expansion. This feed is dead. Stormbolt surrounds is dead. This feed is also dead. Oh no, this coil, but still. Uh, this, this militia, I'm not sure if it's surrounded. Okay, it's surrounded. Never mind, Jubico is a much better player than me. Uh, one militia goes down, the second one goes down, but the feed is dead. This uh, ghoul went down as well. Just for just lost two fiends and cool. I'm sure he killed a few units as well. But Lucifer's units are more important here than Yumiko's units. These trades are very good for Yumiko. Every unit Lucifer loses is a unit that won't come back. Well, Yumiko, all these units are just uh, expendable. Just like the people at, who was it? Some of your uh, companies. The people that work in companies here. Oh! Gives, I think he gave the TP to the Lich, but the Lich went down first to the uh, Stronghold. A lot of skeletons, but there's no more Stormbolts. It does have still Bash though. And Bash is almost like Stormbolt, except that you only have a 20% chance. Oh, he surrounds the Death Knight without using Stormbolt or Bash. Just a Footman surround. Didn't expect that at all. You can coil this Footman though, or this one. Easy. Uh... Oh, but there's another surround, but I don't think it's good enough. I think the Death Knight is actually going to survive. Never mind. I don't think the Death Knight is actually going to survive. Can he get enough mana to get another coil? The statues are uh, using both their spirit torch and the other one. This footman is dead. Uh, he needs one more coil. 58, but oh, he gets out somehow. Footman screwed up. He moved a centimeter or, or half an inch too far to the right. And the death knight gets out. And if the death knight died there, I would have said it would be GG. Death knight survived though. It's not GG just yet. Of course, killing the lich and killing a lot of fiends. Definitely big, big advantage here for Yumiko. Super duper big advantage for Yumiko. Super duper duper big. And uh, Arcane Sanctus are going up. Mount King is going to buy a Zeppelin maybe or Shredder. There's a Shredder. Maybe Zeppelin as well. But the Zeppelin is actually usually better bought over there at your opponent's uh, place. Level 4 Mount King now is going to get Bash maybe. Perhaps Bash. I don't see him getting Clap. Even though his opponent had a lot of ghouls, he doesn't have. It's not like he's going to rebuild the ghouls. I mean, sure. Go black still all, a lot of destroyers. If you can get a nice destroyer timing, maybe Yubiko will be caught off guard. He doesn't have towers yet. He cancels uh, Arcane Sanctum. Just one is enough. Sending words here for Lucifer as well. Not as good for Lucifer at the moment. Well, XCD, let's see. Illusions, yeah, I think the Illusions would have been better at this point. But, and even a replenishment potion, maybe, because the Death Knight is hurt. Death Knight almost level 4. So, usually I say this is the best item by far. Right now, it's probably the worst item, but not by far, just barely the worst item. Most items are about the same power level. He's getting more uh, statues, more destroyers, maybe. Maybe once place a Sentry Ward over here, actually. Especially when night falls, the human can just go in, buy some uh, units from the Goblin Laboratory, maybe Zephyr even, but probably a Zeppelin, and uh, drop in, maybe Shredder. You now you want to see what's happening over here at your, go at your own Goblin Laboratory, because I wouldn't trust any uh, Mountain Kings. Cloak of Shadows. Tome of Intelligence is nice. There, he does place one here. So, beautiful play there by Lucifer. Anytime a player does exactly like I I want them to play, we know the player is very good. And you can see it right here, Lucifer with his uh, Sensi Ward over there. But he's he's going in with uh, five guard towers of the peasants already uh, standing in place to auto repair these towers. Here comes the Mountain King. He sees the Mountain King, of course, a bit earlier with that Sensi Ward. Four destroyers, this is all in right now. 
He needs to he needs to break this expansion or lose the game. Meanwhile, the Mountain King is going to kill some uh, some shit over there, some skeletons, some ghouls. Okay, he's definitely going to break it. But did he lose anything? I don't see any any just dead destroyers. He had four. He still has four. Well, the towers are dead. Does he have masonry? He does, does have masonry level two, but still not enough towers. Then he TV's home. Well, uh, the peasants have mostly been killed. There's still three alive with super low hit points. I was going to kill this footman. Try to kill as many as he can. There was no sapper, by the way. I mean, I'm not sure why why he didn't just buy one sapper, and even just if you blow it up over here. Of course, there's a spirit tower and a cold tower. You cannot really blow it up here. That would be the perfect position, but that's uh, if Lucifer pays attention, you can easily easily kill the sapper. But you can walk in here like this and maybe blow up, blow up here, kill this ziggurat and maybe the shop. Maybe you can get even blow up here, kill these two, kill those two. And it's definitely worth it if you have an expansion. Of course, this expansion uh, was almost broken, but no. These peasants are dead. Panda third for uh, Lucifer. Would be a wise choice as always. We have Paladin first here for uh, Yumiko. Uh, third for Yumiko. But Lucifer last time he got the Dark Ranger. He might go Dark Ranger again against these heroes. Actually, this is second, right? Paladin second. The keep might fall. That means all stack will be reset and he will have to rely on these dragon hawks without the uh, upgrade by the way without the animal war training upgrade and uh, dragon hawks without the upgrades aren't they're so squishy i advertised you in uh tyson's hearthstone stream <laughs> okay uh thank thank you adnasco but uh usually it's it's kind of bad bad etiquette to advertise in other people's streams it's a bit uh, bad manner so I appreciate the uh, the thought, but yeah, it's probably not not smart of you to keep doing that. Still tier one, this for wins with the choice. Well, it's tier one again. So Chaco, I expect thousands of viewers to flood your channel shortly. Usually, it doesn't work like that. Uh, there goes a the dragon hawk. I don't know how you advertised though. How did you advertise? Did you uh... I don't know. Depends how you advertise of course. So, some ways it's fine. Uh, the Mountain King uh, is dead! The Mountain King is dead! <laughs> Mountain King is dead guys. Mountain King is level 5 but he's dead. Uh, the, the Hawks are no chance. You, uh, Lucifer won the game guys. Lucifer, this game is over. There's only... There it is. GG. Something you're doing, ready to work. Tad, we're watching for Tad's point of you guys. We have an altar. Are we gonna see another Mount King? I feel like the Mount King, I feel like the argument is just better actually. <laughs> sure, Yumiko might have won with Mount King earlier twice, but one was just a total throw by uh, by Lucifer. And last game, Lucifer beat the Mount King, and I'm not sure that the other game, maybe Lucifer kind of misplayed as well. I feel like the Mount King actually is just bad in this matchup. Compared to the Arc Mage, but we'll see. If he goes Mountain King again, he probably goes Mountain King again, yeah. Just go Mountain King again. Some people did say that uh, Yumiko is super duper good in this matchup. He's really good. He, bought, uh, he, bought, uh, he beat 120, apparently, in this matchup. 120. I wonder if you also play Mountain King first there. Farmers up. No more footman. <laughs> he does have the gold at the moment. Maybe he could use some more gold. Guys, work harder. Yumiko needs more gold. Okay, there. He hires another footman. A first task foot soldier. Can learn the defense ability. Great. This footman is scouting. Of course, he's going to see death knight. He's going to see some ghouls. He sees the graveyard. Uh, is this normal time in graveyard? It's, I guess it is. We'll see some fiends here pretty soon. My time to eat. Be right back. 
Long days off. It's not fair. Your food is always much more delicious than mine, but uh, enjoy. I guess you're cooking it right now. So you're not enjoying it just yet, but enjoy cooking your food then. Death Knight or making it or buying it or however you're getting it. Uh, Death Knight here with the skeletons, killing these uh, this ogre, killing the forest wall trappers. This trapper goes down. Now he's going for the second trapper. Here we see the Mountain King. Stormlord on the face of the Ogre Magi. Close of haste here. No bash yet, but once he gets bashed, this Close of haste is going to be immensely strong. Immensely strong. Nice. I never used these two words in combination before. So as you can see, my English is improving day by day. We'll tell you in a while, thanks. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited long days off for your food. The food man here. The food man here. <laughs> so funny today. The food man here he sees the death knight coming in with the skeletons. We have some food man scouting over here as well. Just so he knows exactly where the death knight is coming from. And the skeletons, where the skeletons are coming from. So he can defend his uh, peasants. That was a pretty nice play there where you can go. Two skeletons already fell apart. Skeletons try to go for this uh, peasant, but they give up. They run for their own lives. Death Knight, 144 XP. Mount King, still level 1 as well. He has still Coil. He has still full mana. Coil won't kill the skeleton, but now it will. There, it's dead. That one. Mount King is level 2. Uh, why does he... Do you ever pick Clap in this matchup? He's not picking Bash, and he's been attacking so much already while he's level 2. I'm sure he would have gotten one bash off by now. So picking the bash later is definitely sacrificing some bashes, but maybe there's a, a situation where you pick clap. Did I say slam again? I meant clap. Where you pick clap against uh, maybe if a double crit ghoul rush, if that suddenly shows up, you need a level two clap. Because maybe, actually, yeah, with, because there's no water elementals, there's no arc mates. Mount King would be kind of weak against a double ghoul, uh, double crypt ghoul rush if you don't have clap. Now he realizes there's no ghoul rush coming. However, he saw the graveyard, right? Maybe he was afraid. Maybe there are undead players that will cancel the graveyard after the footman scouts, rebuild uh, or build a second crypt, then go mass ghouls and win the game that way. It would be a super risky strategy. It would be super cheesy. And. Uh, but Yumiko prepares for it by not getting that bash. So if Undead does that, he cannot beat Yumiko. He's just going to lose to the clap. He's gonna cry. Uh, Yumiko though is killing these uh, these trolls and the ogre afterwards, I assume. Meanwhile, this fur with his level 2 death knight. Goes to the expansion. We have two ghouls here walking around. What are they doing here? They're cutting these trees? No. They're going to walk around. He's again, he gets a keep over here. Death Knight gonna kill some peasants. Kill uh, Coils one. The tower, if the towers are taking the Death Knight, by the way, which is, of course, not what you want. That does mean your skeletons are gonna live a bit longer. This a situation where you maybe you just want the tower. I mean, it's not like you wanted to kill uh, to attack your Death Knight, but it's not uh, that bad because it does so much damage against your skeletons, of course. 28, I think. No, it does. Yeah, plus 20. So 28 to 30 damage to skeletons. Death Knight is now out of mana though. He used two coils and the rest got uh, burned here. Fat back by this arcane tower. Five militia here. Defending this area. There's another tower. More peasants being summoned or built or trained or hired. Whatever it is. There goes another uh, ghoul. Stormbolt on his face, and now he's dead. Now we have a level 3 Mountain King, level 2 Stormbolt, I assume. <laughs> level 2 Bash is, of course, super duper good, but he is he picked level 2 Stormbolt. And we have Double Slaughterhouse. He's going again with the Mass Destroyers without any fiends. No fiends, just destroyers. I see a bunch of towers here. The destroyers. Destroyers don't care about towers. They care about towers. They're, they're, they kill them. Just five guard towers. How many statues will we have? One, two, three, four, 
Probably five. Five destroyers. Five guard towers is not enough. He only has a few towers here as well. Maybe also five guard towers or maybe six. I don't understand why he builds them so close to the to each other. The splash damage will kill them all so fast. Why does he not put like one space in between? Uh, maybe he has determined that this is better against the destroyer. So all your towers can always attack at the same time. When If you have a space in between them, they take so much more space. And then maybe you can pick one of them off with only like three or four towers hitting your destroyers. By the way, does he have level two mason yet or level one? Level one he has. He is a keep. He should get level two. Now, ASAP. That upgrade takes so long to build, by the way. So, uh, no, he's already too late, I think. Level two mason is going to be too late. I mean, even if he upgraded right now, he would be too late. So he should have upgraded the, the moment he got keep. He's getting an arcane vault. Does he have a berserker, by the way? No berserker. Maybe he needed to buy a berserker as well to defend his towers from the evil destroyers. Here they come. There's one, there's two. There's uh, three, there's four, there's five. Does he have the supply to get all five? Yes, easy peasy. I mean, he hardly has any other units. Besides the five destroyers, he has like four ghouls, six acolytes, and a death knight. Here they come, and look at these towers. Mount King is coming back, of course. There's a oh, the coil was too late! Only four destroyers left. Maybe this is the strat- Oh, it was only level one coil, by the way, still. Anyway, now he has level two coil. Losing that one destroyer was kind of bad, but it's still, it doesn't matter, apparently. Still easy peasy, uh... Easy peasy break here. But the death knight has to be careful. Did the Mountain King just use healing healing school? I think he did. Oh, the, mount, the Death Knight, is he going to die? Death Knight it TP's out. And sure, he killed all the this, the, all this, uh, towers, but he only killed like four peasants and one footman. And Masonry level two, as you can see, it wasn't done yet, but it's gonna be uh, done soon. He's rebuilding the towers ASAP, but the destroyers are already on their way. To kill everything they ever want to kill. Probably first the footman and then the towers. They have all the time in the world, of course. These towers are they're not going up fast. So these footmen, one of them dies. Here come the five destroyers, of course. Back into a squad of five, like the Power Rangers. This is what it feels like to fight against Power Rangers. Ask Yumiko if you want to know. Or use her empathy to feel how Yumiko feels right now. This is how it feels to fight against the Power Rangers. No chance to win. All these towers are going down super duper fast. Even if one got up, it's uh, they get heavy armor, they go down super duper fast. Like the light armor towers don't go down that fast against the destroyers. This one, it will go up, but it will go down fast. Maybe if we can get both of these up. Death Knight is uh, healing over here with the statue. Can also kill some peasants here. Actually, maybe if both go down. Okay, let's see how fast he can kill this one. This destroyer, same story. How fast does he micro him? Okay, he micros him away. Two towers, though, is still is safe for a few seconds. But he needs to have his pens all near the towers. Okay, the definitely going to creep a little bit. It's almost level four. Do we have a lich? No, no lich. 50 supply for Lucifer. Does he just go for level five? Definitely. He's level four now. Picks up a Tome of Strength, that's just perfect, it cancels the Stormbolt in the face. And this Ogre is going down as well, let's see what item he gets. Scroll of the Beast, not very useful if you have mass destroyers, of course it doesn't hit your air units. Lucifer is even going over 50, he's going to 60, does he sell it? No, he does not sell it, he does keep it, which is kind of worrisome i believe like why would lucifer keep it is he is he not playing that well maybe this tower does go down of course against seven destroyers some of them even with mana it's it's too much doesn't matter how many peasants you have you can never out repair that this destroyer is a bit hurt but the coil will get back uh to whatever hit points amount he wants still no berserker bot there by yumiko by the way he could have bought Berserker to help defend this uh, this destroyer rush power attack. Keep his out to his expansion. He just gives up his main. Of course, the destroyers take forever to kill his main. And at his expansion, he does have a lot of towers, seven towers, and he can upgrade three more. A town is 
is under siege. Wow, the king just chilling. Yeah. He doesn't have orb of fire, of course. Maybe if he was a castle. Maybe if this was a good player playing. <laughs> Kappa, Yumiko is a very good player. Uh, but uh, he would have gotten an orb of fire. Lich is here with the orb of corruption. This tunnel will go down eventually. 1800 hit points. Amazingly level 2. What is he going to do next? Is he going to the main? Is he going to kill the altar? Is he going to kill a paladin? Is he going with meat wagon? And that only has meat wagons so that are the only units that do siege damage. Could build one meat wagon and just park it here to kill everything. It's not like there's an archmage to snipe your meat wagon. It's just a mountain king. And mountain king is very bad against a meat wagon. So I do. I would like one meat wagon here for Lucifer actually. Because killing these buildings is going to take forever with the sword is not worth your time. But with a meat wagon, it is uh, one unit, four supply, one unit. It will kill these buildings pretty fast and that will mean Yumiko has to pay a lot more money money to replenish these buildings. Then it costs Lucifer to build it one meat wagon. Okay, but he's going for uh, the expansion right now. There are seven towers. He's, he didn't upgrade these other three towers that I feel I, I thought he was going to. Oh, he doesn't have the lumber. Look at that, 22 lumber. Oh, these towers are just going to be uh, destroyed. Oh, we do have some flying machines. Mount King kills uh, the wizard guy. Probably because he looked like an Archmage. Probably has a, uh, hates the Archmage for taking the spotlight every game. Two flying machines. Is he going to keep this? The 2-1 upgrades on the destroyers, by the way. Uh, Panda, Panda third. Panda's just going to... Okay, he sniped the arcane tower so the Panda can kill all the other towers with his level 1 Breath of Fire. But if you Breath of Fire long enough, fast enough, I mean... Doesn't... A lot of times. It, you will kill the towers. And this is now level 3. The flying machines also can get killed by the Breath of Fires, of course. Is he hunting down the human? Of course he knows. He knows the Mountain King is creeping somewhere sneaky. Oh, he grabbed that, he grabbed this. Pretty nice, pretty sneaky Mountain King. He's level 4. Paladin is level 1. It's a ghoul frenzy. How many ghouls does he even have? He has 4 ghouls. Oh! He uses his ghouls instead. I was suggesting a meat wagon. Instead he sends his ghouls over. He researches ghoul frenzy. They kill the towers. I mean they kill the buildings slowly. But I don't like the ghouls too much. Because they are very vulnerable of course to a mountain king. And to uh, a paladin. They can be holy lighted. They can be storm bolted. Meat wagon cannot. Be holy lighted and storm bolted. As you can see the ghouls. They run in. Immediately have to run out. One will die to a storm bolt. He bashes the other one. He's trying to kill both at the same time. Kills one. Another storm bolt. Maybe he can get the other one. He does have the boots, but the ghoul has ghoul frenzy. There's the storm bolt. Two ghouls down. As you can see, a meat wagon would have been just fine. But the ghouls. Is the meat wagon even cheaper than two ghouls? Yes. It's even cheaper than two ghouls. They just lost for not listening to me. The panda is level two. I, I see. He wanted to keep the panda to level three, of course. To uh, kill these towers, easy peasy. And the flying machines as well. Here are the flying machines. 14 flying machines. If he can win a, get a fight with flying machines, by the way, there's still a chance here for Yumiko. The expansion is going up here for Lucifer. And the mount uh, panda. Level 2. Our flying machines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 flying machines. It's building more, of course. 16, 18 soon. And then 20 sooner. Oh, 20 flying machines. 
We do have a pen of energy here on the panda though. Oh, look how much damage they do. Do we have heal skull? We do have heal skull. This one on the death knight. He tried to coil something, but the the story went down. Actually, the flying machines are just gonna win this against level one the panda. There's no chance here for Lucifer, but doesn't mean he's going to lose the game. Not yet, but it does look pretty bad here. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look as good for Lucifer anymore as it looked earlier. Death Knight gets uh, Stormbolt surrounded, but he can just kill the militia. He actually has an info potion, but there's not a Frost Nova yet. I don't think this Death Knight is ever going to die here, but we do have another. Uh, oh, we have level 5 by Mount King, never mind. Another level 3 Stormbolt on this uh, Death Knight, and he is maybe going to die. The Mount King is also being focused. The Mount King TPs out. The Death Knight dies to a Holy Light, it wasn't the TP, it was staff of TP out there. And all the destroyers have been killed. Lucifer just lost like everything he has. He lost his death knight, he lost all his destroyers. Sure, he still has a panda and a lich and two statues. But uh, that was really well done there by Yunko. You know, and this couldn't have been done if Lucifer just sent it once with one meat wagon in. One meat wagon, all you need. Paladin is almost level 4. Mount King. Level 5. But one peasant, one acolyte. A player's forces are under He's not making more acolytes. They're of course easily killed. Oh, the fiend is also easily killed. But uh, Mountain King takes some damage. By the way, I, I do realize you guys noticed already that the tunnel is being built, right? I pointed it out. But I didn't say anything about it. We have the flying machines here running in. Take some damage from the towers. Can they kill something though? There's not that many flying machines. I don't. I don't like this choice here by Yumiko. But we'll see. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe he can kill a uh, spirit tower. No. It's just not enough flying machines. They're so useless against buildings and so slow numbers. And the panda comes back, but he doesn't need to do anything over here. We have uh, ghouls here. The peasants running for their lives against the evil ghouls, but as I said earlier, ghouls can easily be killed by the Stormbolt. But maybe he's afraid this is Jabate. Maybe he's afraid, but no, he saw, he, he will see here that Lucifer is over here. And he will know he can just easily, easily kill the ghouls. But the ghouls are hiding. Mount King, the base is uh, closed actually. He's getting a Blood Mage. Third, guys, Blood Mage is so strong. Blood Mage is so strong. There, prop. Time to out. Time to out. My chat is only love and happiness. Six hundred seconds. It hurt me to do it, but. We have a flying machine over here. Hey, KB, KB, welcome back. Schools are still trying to kill this town hall. Blood mage, what is he doing here? Oh, he's going tanks, guys. Do we have any meat wagons yet? No, but we do have the panda. Level 2 panda. Panda is going to kill uh, the tanks, of course. This we're just hanging out here. Most of the flying machines have been killed. There are only three left. We have a manual of health here on the floor. Tap of the damned. What are you going for? Necromancers? Is he neco is he going Necro Wagon? Or is he going Banshees? Banshees would make more sense of course. Against the uh, Blood Mage, against the Stormbolt. Oh he stormbolt the Acolyte from up the other side of the trees. But yeah, against the Stormbolt, against the Holy Light and the Banish. Once the Blood Mage reaches level two, of course Banshees make so much more sense. Here come the tanks. Is it what is he going to do here with his heroes? He's just blocking his own tanks for now. Uh, they're running away now. Uh, Blood Mage is dead. I'm not sure why he was so far in the front. The Blood Mage cannot do shit. Level 1 Blood Mage sees uh, Mountain King though and the uh, Paladin. They can do something. Paladin, of course, has a two, level 2 Divine Shield. He's using it to try to kill the Acolytes. His uh, tank kills the Nerubian Tower. Tank goes down. 
here, boots of speed by the way on both these heroes. Meanwhile, did we miss something here? Probably the two ghouls got killed by the flying machines? This can actually happen. The Mount King staffs out. Still alive. Look at these two ghouls. You know how long it takes for fly four flying machines to kill two ghouls? It takes like 10 minutes. This for 50, you can go 52. There's a meat wagon. There's a meat wagon finally. I've been waiting all this game so long for meat wagons. Now he builds two of them. Does he have banshees? He's getting a dead banshee as well. The anti-magic shell is not only for his heroes, it's also for his acolytes, of course. He lost so many, but he his mates out of gold soon, so he will just transfer the acolytes there. Uh broth rice with rabbit. Uh like bunnies? You're, are you eating bunnies? Sure, I'm sure it tastes pretty good though. But overall, it's not something that makes me super jealous, but I'm sure it's, uh, since you made it, sure, I'm sure it must be super good. It's just a broth, like what's a broth exactly? Is that some kind of stew? Broth. Uh, broth definition? I mean, uh, nothing is happening at the moment anyway. Soup consisting of meat or vegetables cooked in stock, sometimes thicken with barley or other cereals. You, you see, the thing is, I, I hate soup. I hate or hate. I don't like soup. It's like one of the few foods I don't like because it's just so annoying. Like if it's if it's liquid, you should drink it. It's not the food. It's but I guess if you add food in it, it's getting harder to drink. But I'm not a big fan of uh, stew or broth, broth rice though. What does that mean? Is it like, I don't know. I, maybe I should Google broth rice after this game though. Let's, uh, let's not get too distracted from this game. If Lucy wins this, is he qualified for GCS? Both players are qualified for the next round of GCS, the round of 16. Uh, now, uh, I mean, they still have to Go through the round of 16, then through the round of 8, and then 4 players of that will qualify for GCS. So they're both still very far from qualifying for GCS. They both are already qualified for the round of 16 though. This match is just for seeding actually. This match is not that important, it's just for seeding. I mean that could be important, but I'm not sure. It's not super important. Anyway, the uh, mounting and everything is fighting here. We do have the green shields now, the anti-magic shields. The four tanks here in the main base, five tanks even, where are the wagons are going home, They're going to defend, he stops out the... Which one? The panda? No, the... He didn't have a panda, the blood mage, of course. Blood mage is so vulnerable. These tanks now go for the main... Meat wagons being owned by the flying machines, where is the panda for... Uh, Lucifer, he stops to the meat wagon. All oh, these flying machines are gonna get breath of fired. They take so much damage to destroy it, help and kill them. But the main here is probably going to die against five tanks. Two mood wagons try to defend it. Uh, another breath of fire is available. Meanwhile, uh, the mounted king and the paladin killing everything here. He tried to use some magic anti magic shells, but uh, there's only so much you can do with uh, two banshees. This one's out of mana. He cast a curse actually on both of them. He still has th uh, two acolytes. He lost three acolytes. Mounted king starves out. And he needs a necropolis, a necropolis back up so he can build more acolytes because he lost his black citadel. Uh, isn't soup? Rice with broth? It's just rice isn't all dry. Okay, that sounds a lot better then. Maybe I will get jealous at some point. I see breakfast time here. <laughs> it's always breakfast time here. Plus that game is like 70% loose ball still for human. It's still anyone's game ball. Loose for the 55 supply. Human got 37. Human got still has the main gold mine though. Uh, but his expansion is out of gold. Okay. So human only has his main left. Which still has 7k gold. Uh, loose for only has his expansion left. So it's still one base against one base I guess. Oh but here go flying. Oh so many flying machines and towers up. These ghouls are going down. These, fly, these destroyers, he, can he save the destroyers? His heroes and everything is all so far away. He has two meter wagons uh, defending, but oh, one 
destroyer two are going to die for sure he might save this last one uh, he's going to save this last one but the others all died there is a coil but actually against so many flying machines this destroyer is just useless uh, death knight gets his mana stone of course and the magic shell doesn't help against siphon mana there plot mage with like 18 hit points gets staffed home to his castle and these flying machines they did take a breath of fire look at how much damage uh how much hit points they have left of course 125 damage is what level 2 breath of fire does these guys all very low hit points 75 Uh, links allowed? Yeah, let's just post a link uh, long days off. I've played the game a thousand times and lost as in that. Well, it also depends who you're playing against. I'm sure I would lose this game a thousand times as in that against Yumiko. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out after the... Uh, after the game here. Maybe I can show it on stream. The panda gets his mana stolen. Oh, look, the panda's stuck. The panda, he does have staff. Oh, no, he's not stuck. Never mind. I thought, yeah, I mean, why did I think that it was uh, blocked? It's just I wasn't paying enough attention. But the panda might die here. Actually, he's, uh, he gives the info potion. Okay, he's uh, saved for seven more seconds. Maybe he could kill the blood mage or something else in those seven seconds. Yeah, and the uh, mother king almost died there. And the panda, of course, first of all, he cannot be wholly lighted. Uh, and the storm bolt, you know, he has the anti magic shell. So he was uh, pretty safe, actually. These flying machines, only four left. What happened to the others? Did I miss something? I must have missed something. Okay, start with the... Uh, start to Ziggurat, but Ziggurat just got killed. Guys, what did I miss? Where did those flying machines go? Did they fly over the towers, maybe? Must have. They must have flown over a tower. Maybe there was a tower over here. Spirit tower killed them in the main... Uh, over here, I guess. One of these towers. Come with your eyes. Rabbit, not chicken. Isn't it holy lit? Holy lit. Here comes the panda. Kills three of these flying machines. One survives still. One still being annoying. One flying machine is the worst though. Because you know, if there's four flying machines, it's definitely worth to send your panda, use a breath of fire, get three kills. If there's just one flying machine, it, uh, it will keep attacking, eventually it will kill buildings, you will keep getting a notification Oh, your base is under attack, but you don't really want to commit your panda or anything else really to kill it Or maybe a banshee, maybe just send a banshee I'm not sure if a banshee would win against a flying machine, but this flying machine only 41 hit points They could both do extra damage to each other, I think the banshee, uh, yeah definitely a banshee would win against a flying machine actually Especially a, a depth one The Mountain King, by the way, almost level 6. Is that going to be a comeback? Oh, Stormbolt kills a ghoul. So easy peasy. The second ghoul almost dies as well. But here come these heroes. Oh, it steals the man of the Death Knight. This Blood Knight just needs to be nuked at the start of every fight. Just so he cannot steal mana. The Death Knight still has plenty of mana. A player's forces are under attack. Tank goes and kills some uh, shit over here. You show some Jericops after this game? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. Today is going to be a short stream. After the GCS, I will end my stream. We have three meat wagons here. Uh, but this might not be the last game, of course, because we still have Group C. Uh, group, yeah, Group C. Elegant first TBCBM. I'm not sure how many games they have played so far. Uh, we have an avatar available. Okay, use the avatar. Stormbolt, but it does no damage. It does get rid of the green shield. Gets all his mana stolen. The blood mage, of course, being nuked and staffed out at the last moment again. Like that, the blood mage has like zero hit points. Death died. Where's more? Where's his uh, banshees? There they are. Way too late. I was wondering where they would be and why didn't he immediately move them in? What a mistake by Lucifer! Oh my God, Lucifer just threw the game. That game was Lucifer's. He just all he needed to do was move his banshees towards his heroes ASAP. Like he knew his death knight could be nuked. Uh, this is the, that was a throw again. A throw by Lucifer. I'm pretty sure Happy wouldn't have lost that game, guys. I mean, Happy is pretty good with his banshees. Lucifer apparently not. It's one one now. That means we have another game though. That's exciting. 
it seems Yumiko just goes Bounty King no matter what. No matter what map. I mean, uh, even on Amazonia, which is a horrible Mount King map, he just goes Mount King. Last map was. What was last map? Echo Alls. Echo Alls. That game, man, should have been won by Lucifer. Let's see if Lucifer, Lucifer can throw away more games. It feels like Lucifer is winning every game, but then he just throws it away by some mistake and loses his Death Knight and a Lich and everything. Duke Winterball. We have Duke Winterball here. And on the other hand, we have Yumiko. I mean, Yumiko, we have. Uh, yeah. No, we have Burry Frostbeard. Maybe Yumiko is a Mount King in real life. Maybe in his spare time, he's just uh, fighting as a Mount King with three footmen. That's enough to do a surround, but not for far away. From close by, you can do a three footman surround with the Mount King. So it's a. Some skeletons. Four foot man. Another one. So, oh, be careful, Mr. Death Knight. It's gonna be easier and easier to surround you when more and more footmen arrive at the scene. He kills the sheep, but he doesn't have skeletons. Why did he just kill the sheep? To prevent the Death Knight? I mean, this body is gonna block, uh, be there for some time. He's defending the body of the sheep he just killed. And wait, another sheep went down. Not sure we'll kill this sheep. Is this slaughter of the sheeps? Sounds like a horror movie. He could stormbolt the skeleton, but he's not. He's not going to stormbolt it. Is he attacking? No. He's going for an expansion, of course. Of course. Here comes Death Knight with some ghouls. Is he expecting? He's expecting the Mountain King to keep ready. The Mountain King is patient. He knows exactly about loose versus shenanigans. He knows what to do, he knows to be patient and do what? Do what? Yes, 37 XP. That Duke Winterball is zero. Zero XP. Warcraft 3, the sheep throne. That might be the uh, next expansion to Warcraft 3. A player's forces are under Sounds like a good title for the next expansion. Death Knight is gonna kill this first soul berserker. And this other one is also going to die. Maybe he picks up Tome of Intelligence. Yes, he picks it up. He's so smart now. Death Knight now. IQ of 19. Now he's going to kill an all overseer. Meanwhile, Yumiko takes his time to uh, keep over there. What item does he want? Illusions. Is that what he wants? I'm not sure. In this matchup, I'm not sure if uh, Sentry Wars is as good as in other matchups. I don't think so, actually. It's probably a bit worse. But the illusions, I mean, well, we have a fake death knight now. Picks up the the Tome of IQ and picks up a parry up as well. A lot of hit points now on this death knight. Oh, so many, uh, oh, Mount King, I mean, so many death knights though. Which one? Oh, Clap, guys! Clap. He did pick Clap and we saw earlier that he didn't skill, his, uh, skill on the Mount King until later. Well, it's of course, if he gets surrounded, he wants to Clap. Can he find his way out? He probably has to TP. We have level 1 coil. He needs to TP. No TP, okay. Doesn't TP. Just wants uh, to kill more ghouls, kill and get his expansion up ASAP. Doesn't care about about his mount king. The footman can defend, of course. Uh, they killed a lot of ghouls, but they're surrounded on the death knight. He, he staffs out. He has a staff, about the staff, of course. And against the staff, uh, he doesn't have bash, so the staff is super good. Right, that's a weakness of getting clap. You cannot bash the Death Knight when he tries to staff out. So the staff is always safe after he gets storm bolted. He can always safely use the staff. And the Death Knight uh, buys a panda. Mount King is soon attack. going to be back. The panda is going to roast some footmen. We have some more ghouls being summoned. He's still tier 2. No slaughterhouse, no attack, no nothing. Is he just going to attack this with ghouls? But the tower is going up. Can he kill the tower in time? Probably not, but maybe. Do we have peasants? Well, maybe. Let's see. The tower does go up, but Panda, be careful, Mr. Panda. He still has a staff on Death Knight, but can he give it to the Panda? I don't think he can reach the Panda unless he can kill the expansion or these tools or, or the footman or something. Uh, now the Panda is going to die, but maybe. Yeah, the Mount King is back out. The Mount King is back out to defend us. He did get XP there from the Panda. 
there is Mr. Mount King. He's almost level 3. But he kills the expansion. I'm I'm not sure if he got cancelled even there. The clap here. Beautiful clap. Kills one ghoul. This other ghoul gets a coil though. Remember, there's no bash. Without bash, the Mount King is just a. The Mount King without mana is just a big footman. Right? Normally people say that, but. Uh, oh, the footman goes down. Um, normally people say like Mount King without mana is like a big footman, but if he still has bash, that's not true because bash is just insane. But now, without bash, that is definitely true. It's just a footman. Does the same amount of damage. You can see 32 to 42. You, see, you can see here as well 12 to 13, almost the same. And about the same hit points as well. There's a surround on the. No, almost surrounded the Death Knight itself, the staff. But the Mountain King would have been able maybe to storm his face. Now he staffs out. No Mountain King in the neighborhood. And this skeleton is killing this. Uh, trying to go for this peasant. Will they get it? They do get a peasant. Meanwhile, the panda is back out. Already 65 XP. He's getting slaughterhouses. Going to Black Citadel. And the skeleton is surrounded by so many footmen. He's dead. Nine footmen. Sell the parry up, by the way. The death knight is almost level three. And now he is level three. One footman went down. Mountain King picked level two Stormbolt, so only has level one Thunderclap. Slams the ground, deals 60 damage to nearby enemies. Uh, enemy land units and slowing their movement by 50% attack and their attack rate by 50%. Uh, one footman went down there. It's uh, 90 mana, by the way. Just uh, pointed it out because probably, you know, you don't see Thunderclap that often. You forget exactly what it does. I think the area is a bit, bit bigger than Stomp on level 1. But the area doesn't get bigger like Stomp. Stomp from TC, uh, the higher level, the bigger the area. Thunderclap, I don't think the area becomes bigger. I don't even know. Thunderclap, I think it just does more damage. Does it slow for more? Let's Google. Thunderclap WC3. A player's forces are under attack. I mean, nothing is happening. We have uh, Lucifer creeping anyway. Uh, Thunderclap. Area effect, oh no, the area effect does grow a little bit. 60 damage, 100 damage, 140 damage, the slow is the same. There's quite a big increase in damage. Let's uh, look at Stomp. Stomp, Worker 3. Four Stomp, 25, 30, 35. Actually, the area is exactly the same as Stomp. Oh, what is this? We have a fight. We have a fight. Let me go back and cast this fight here. Uh, Stormbolt there. Oh, the panda. Panda surrounded. Hello, Mr. Panda. He gives the staff to the panda. Gives the TP to the panda. And uh, the TP's out. What item did he get there? What's the, I saw a mana stone. There it is. Mana stone on the panda is, is pretty good, actually. That's super duper good, actually. Definitely not level 3 panda. It's not level 3 just yet. If he gets a level 3 panda... This game can still swing out of hand. Here comes the Kodo. Uh, the Kodo? The Mountain King. Kinda looks like a Kodo, if you look at his face. He's going to keep again at his expansion. But here come the destroyers, by the way. Four destroyers already. I didn't uh, pay a lot of attention to this game to exactly uh, about this destroyer timing. But suddenly it's here. These footmen, some of them die, two of them survive. How many towers do we have? We have Masonry level 1, four towers up, and he's building more. Three more. Maybe it's enough. The panda is not level 3 yet. The Mountain King can still hunt down the panda with a level 2 Stormbolt. Uh, better maybe wants to buy a Zeppelin would have been nice. Because he sells mana, but he cannot stay in the fight with the Mountain King here. All the statue kind of blocked the uh, panda. He's not going for a Zeppelin, or he is going for a Zeppelin. It's a 50 spy. Huh. You guys saw that? The Sapper, bought there by Yumiko, killed the panda. He did buy the uh, Zeppelin, but the Sapper kill there. So beautiful. 215 gold to kill the panda was definitely worth it. 
just uh just a baneling attack or or it's just beautiful that's what i have to say the dev had picked oh he flute of accuracy now though mount king with a man is big food but then mount king with man is big kodo yeah sure. i mean he can uh instead of eating units he storm bolts them You see, wasted uh, mana on Mount King and Peasants. Destroy your mana. Yeah. I'm not sure if he could have broken through anyway, though. Without the panda, that is. A player's forces are under attack. The Death Knight is level 4. The panda is almost back. He has a Zeppelin to save him, oh, uh, him this time. Maybe he needs... Oh, the... Mountain King picks up the claws of attack plus 6. Uh, Ma uh, Death Knight was stunned, of course. Did he? Oh, wait. Who gets... Oh, Mountain King just gets, like, all the XP. No, actually, Death Knight got the, uh, one of them. Level 5, I think. Maybe the level 3 as well. But the uh, Panda's back out. He needs to be level 3 ASAP. If Lucifer wants to win this game. Oh, the Mountain King takes a lot of damage. He has a TP, though. And the uh, Death Knight's out of mana. These guys all do plus 2 damage. And is he going for Lich? What is the Zeppelin doing? Is he defending something? Is he going Meat Wagons? If he goes Meat Wagons, Zeppelin is very good. If a Mount King or maybe later Paladin walks into his base, picking up the Acolyte is very good. The Zeppelin is just any very good in this matchup anyway. Even though he didn't save his Panda, it's still a very good, uh, very good unit. Let's see, another mana stone would be nice. Loses a, loses a ghoul. What item is it? Ankh, uh, Ankh. I mean, he did lose a lot of these games because he lost his death knight. So Ankh in that sense is very good because he doesn't just throw away the game. But the thing is, this game is different than the other games. These other games, he was super far ahead and he was just doing, he was just cruising. He was on cruise control and then the mountain king comes in, kills his death knight and he loses. This game, however, he is behind slightly. He needs to do something to come back. And Ankh is like not a good item to come back when you're behind. Ankh is more like a, an item to secure your win if you're very far ahead. The Death Knight is almost level 5. Panda is level 3 now though. Mountain King is invincible. He's level 3. Zeppelin is still over there. Also, he has a Zeppelin in this game to save his Death Knight. Of course, it doesn't help much if your opponent is going flying machines. There's a workshop, there's a workshop, there are the flying machines already. Paladin is just sitting here, AFK. Mountain King just bought some items. He has a lot of items that are all bought. TP of a potion, boots of speed, mana potion, and uh, of healing. But here comes the attack on the expansion. Only seven towers, no arcane tower. Panda can just walk in and do whatever he wants. Uh, these towers take a lot of damage. Uh, one destroyer got the coil. Got the coil. No breath of fires. He cannot get in position. The panda is just uh, wasting so much time walking around. Not a single breath of fire used. Cool went down. Two peasants went down, and like a few towers went down. Three towers. Panda again not in a good position. If only a zeppelin was here, he could just ferry his panda over the farms. Use a breath of fire on the mountain king instead. But uh, it seems like the destroyers are enough to kill all the towers. These peasants super low hit points. Imagine if one of the breath of fire hit the peasants, they'd be all but be dead by now. There's another. Uh, the peasant is actually surviving, walking through these trees, uh, this secret path there that the panda couldn't find. Of course, he cannot find it because he's too big. And uh, the peasants all survived because the panda couldn't get a single breath of fire in on those panda, uh, panda peasants. Is he going to kill the castle? It's going to take hours. This has 3k hit points, 7 armor. And maybe he's getting level 3 masonry. No. He's going for flying machines. He probably has the upgrade already. He needs to get the flag up cannon upgrades before he loses his castle. But the castle is still not going to die anytime soon. Oh, there it is. Flag cannons. No problem. Meanwhile, the Mountain King killed the ghoul and the uh, acolyte. Did he try to build an expansion there? Maybe. I guess this for actually is still pretty far ahead. So I'll take it back. The Ankh. Was a pretty decent item. Lucifer was, uh, was further ahead than I thought he was. Or was doing better than I thought he was. Of course, things changed since then. 
And uh, it's easier to say after the after effect. After the attack. But now... Let's see. Breath of Fire! This is the... Uh, it's, it is, did it hit two flying machines? 37? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't think it hit a single flying machine. The flying machine just got made for a little bit of fighting while the cooldown on the Breath of Fire was there. Just one flying machine there. Where's the Lich? Is the Lich here? Here's the Lich. Hasn't bought an orb yet. 68 supply. Doesn't have the gold. Does have a lot of lumber. Lich does. Oh, there's the orb on the Lich. Okay, maybe uh, if you could have sniped this Lich, that would have been nice, but yeah. Guess he didn't know the list was coming. There's nothing scouting for it. The castle went down, the workshop is going down. He cannot even rebuild the workshop, by the way. Maybe he should have rebuilt a second workshop. But actually, he probably doesn't. <laughs> he has enough flying machines, even against the level 3 panda, he's probably gonna win the air fight. But his heroes are so much weaker, of course, and this map doesn't have a lot of creeps. Level 4 Mount King, level 1 panda uh, paladin is just gonna lose against his heroes. There, the Paladin is dead. No staff, I guess, on the Mount King. Didn't buy the staff before he lost his castle. So he has no staff for Sanctuary. Uh, the cooldown on the fire is still cooling down. Class of deck. Maybe give it to the Lich. Don't keep it on your Panda. Give it to the Lich. Well, Panda has Critical Strike, level 2 actually already. He's level 4 Panda. 10% chance to do 3 times normal damage. But the Orb of Corruption is still better. Then level, uh, then level 2 critical strike. One destroyer just went down there because the panda was uh, trailing behind too far. Maybe he needs a boost of speed on the panda, by the way. He can't afford it right now. He's uh, He killed an expansion. Coil? Where's the coil? Why doesn't he... I mean, maybe he wants to defensively coil destroyer. There's a holy light on the Mount King. I'm just have to be careful. Panda can use breath of fire. Whoops. Involves. Is he gonna attack from two sides? It does look like it. Splits up his uh, flying machines a little bit. And the breath of fire. Where is it? He gets storm bolted. Fly okay, he moves his destroyers to one side so the, uh, the breath of fire can hit more flying machines, but all the fly uh, destroyers have been killed already. Uh, yeah. So, but the god, the heroes are just still too strong here for uh, Lucifer. Even though he just lost all his destroyers, I still think he's going to win this game easy peasy. Or unless, uh, well, this game he does have the Ankh as well. So I don't think he's gonna lose his heroes. There's a strand on the... Oh, gives a TP to the Paladin. Do we have a coil this time? He has full mana. You have a mana stone. There, he coils. Fire machines can't attack ground. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Means this zeppelin was never used, by the way. I guess the flying machines to make it made it kind of useless. Can make knights just make things and win. Yeah, I don't like going more destroyers. He has four statues. Destroyers are obviously not going to win anytime soon. Anything besides destroyers is fine. Well, there are a lot of towers. Um, there's only 810 gold left in the gold mine. He's building his expansion. Even if he goes mad schools at this point, I think uh, Lucifer is going to win this. The only way he can lose this is if he tries to switch to air. Garks, he doesn't really need to go Garks. Really, the panda eventually is going to kill all these flying machines. It's just going to take some time. And, uh, yeah. Where's the Zeppelin? Goes for one meter wagon, two meter wagons. Let's say expansion. Did the Zeppelin get picked off somewhere? Oh, he's scouting with it. Okay. Well, it's gonna be picked off right now. A player's forces are under attack. Some of agility. Oh, 
circle of the ability. Um, he's creeping. He just found some creeps still left on the map. The Mount King is actually gonna get level 5 here. And he has seen uh, Lucifer throw away games that he has won before. So maybe he can do it again. Maybe he can make a comeback again. Kill the Death Knight. Maybe if he doesn't give this Ankh in time to the Death Knight because he's full on uh, items and doesn't use the Info Potion and uh, etc. He can kill the Death Knight, then the Lich, and then the Panda, and then the Panda again. That's the strategy here for Yumiko. I remember, remember last time I said the same. I said, I don't see any way for Yumiko to win this anymore. And then like two seconds later, he lost, uh, Lucifer lost his Death Knight and his Lich and it was GG. I want to say the same thing. I don't see a chance for for Yumiko anymore. It's impossible. It's, there's nothing he can do to win. But you know, if uh, if Lucifer screws up again and loses his Death Knight, but even in solo Death Knight, he's not going to lose against level two Paladin and level four Mount King. This is how far Lucifer is ahead. I think there's there's just no way he can lose. I can say it now this day game, right? I can say it this game. I'm I feel like I'm safe saying it. Please don't uh, prove me wrong again, Lucifer. I don't think you can lose the game. There's an illusion there. The flying machines here. 50 supply against 48. Surround there on the Paladin again. Beautiful surrounds every time they're on the Paladin. The Paladin is all used the Divine Shield though. Or the Info item. Either uh, actually the item, I think. Yeah. He might still die. Do we have a coil? We have a coil. Why doesn't he just coil? Coil would have killed him. Coil would have killed him. I'm not sure why he didn't coil. It's Lucifer trying to throw throw away the game again. Maybe he's trying to throw. Now he has to find shield, not a oh, fake death knight because Stormbolt in the face. I mean, all this supply that Yumiko has is in flying machines, of course. He has like 12 flying machines or so. Oh, it's a Sapper! But Sapper's gonna be slowed. Oh, Sapper, can you reach the gold mine? No! Sappy! Sappy the Sapper! Sappy the Sapper just died. Game of throws. Well, I don't think Lucifer can throw right now. Even if he didn't kill the Paladin, that he could have easily peasily killed. Flying machine saying hi again, like, hey! <laughs> there go the flying machines. Mount King being nuked. Here come the militia. Is this Yumiko's last stand? Is Yumiko gonna win the game here? What the militia surround on the Lich? Or are all the Lich going to die to the Frost Nova? And the Breath of Fire. Hot and cold. And a healing scroll used there by Yumiko. Can he get a Lich? He might get a Lich. The info potion given to the Lich. Oh, too late. Maybe he should have given the arm to the Lich. Because uh, he was totally. Oh, that's not uh, Mount King dead. There it is. GG. And uh, Lucifer wins this group.